Hey there Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? This is part two of how to draw cityscapes and this is going to be kind of downtown, the big skyscrapers and that kind of thing. Click up here and you'll find the playlist and this is all about drawing backgrounds. It's about how you can have the character in the foreground and then the city or hills or countryside in the background and it's a playlist that kind of deals with this whole subject. These cityscape videos were inspired by one of my patrons on Patreon who asked, could I show how to draw cityscapes? In the previous video, I drew this little cityscape, but this is kind of down at ground level um, as you're kind of entering the city and you've kind of got shops and stores on the outside. And now we're going to go deeper into the city where everything starts getting bigger and bigger and we get skyscrapers and all that kind of stuff. And that's what we're going to draw now. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. So I've drawn three parallel lines just as a guide. And what I'm eventually going to want to do is to put that in front of the cityscape behind to give a kind of sense of depth. So I've made some little marks here. And what I'm going to do is just around here, I'm going, to, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to draw some trees and underneath here I'm going to draw hedges and things like that. So I'm, I'm drawing this kind of imagining that there's a park in the way because you know, that's what you have in the centre of cities, don't you? So it isn't just, uh, it isn't just skyscrapers. You do have parks and trees um, you know, all sorts of things going on. And we're going to want to have um, some buildings which are going to be coming up to this kind of level here. And these are going to be kind of apartment blocks. Uh, let's draw a little line like that. And then I'm going to do like this with little and a crenellations on there like that and again across to there and then we can pretend that there's a kind of a, a a balustrade all the way around there for people to kind of look around and see what's happening and we can have another little bit of building up at the top so this could be the um where, where they have the uh, the lift gear and all that sort of stuff way up at the top of the building and we might see some little bits of gear and things like that on the top. And then we can come down a level and go across and across. And then we can come down. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put little windows in here first. And I think we probably need some kind of window things happening up there as well. And then we're going to replicate those windows. If I was doing this on Photoshop, then I'd just copy and paste. <laughs> and then we're going to do a double layer. We can do that. And then what we could do is have um, another kind of layer like this. And this can be a kind of special penthouse layer <laughs> for the, uh, the millionaire. There might even be a swimming pool up here with one of those infinity <laughs> swimming pool things. And that can come down to there and uh, we could have kind of taller wi oh, windows. Let's try and match them up with the the ones above, slightly taller. That will go there. It's, um, it's early in the evening here while I'm doing this and I can hear strange noises outside. I think they're outside and it sounds like a frog croaking but I'm not quite sure because it could be my stomach, I suppose. <laughs> no, it's definitely a frog. It's I have my pond outside the studio window here. So we're going to do these windows and add an extra one at the end, extra one at the end. And we're going to do little bits here where we can see them. And ideally what we want to do is to go around each one and just put a little kind of curve in there for shadow to make those window frames a little bit deeper. We can maybe have some little markings of some description up there as well. That's probably quite enough for that one. <laughs> uh, let's have another one over here. Um, I'm going to 
draw thing like that and then we want to have another one probably over there like that we're going to bring that down and down and another one going across down and down oh i didn't mean to do that double one <laughs> like that and then we'll have this coming down there like that and we're going to have another little line across there and across there and we're going to have a kind of pattern in there maybe put some little dots in between them something like that so this is kind of decoration and then in here <laughs> This is a bit tricky. So we're going to bring that line up there and that line up there and go across. And we're going to draw a curve going there and a curve going that way. And we're going to draw a crisscross pattern. And then we'll put that there. And then we're going to, oh, I meant to do that a bit higher. So I wonder whether I can Gonna do this with the crisscross pattern. Oh, that wasn't how I meant to do it at all. But anyway, that's sort of working, isn't it? So then we can do that. Sometimes you make mistakes, and it, rather than start again, you just kind of have to use your imagination and do something with it. And, oh, yeah, I hadn't managed to, meant to do that either. But anyway, let's do that, and then we'll add another little layer on the top. Uh, with some kind of radio mask thing on the top and here we're going to have a kind of a double layer of thing going along there like that and I think again we can have a kind of a railing thing coming along there and we're going to have one two three four five have a longer one underneath like that so this is sort of based on something I saw, but I'm kind of making it up again as I go along based on what I saw. So I think, you know, sometimes you can you can get images up on uh, Google Images and just copy them straight or even trace them. Uh, but it's kind of I think it's more fun to kind of sketch them. Do kind of a quick sketch and then sort of leave it for a day or so and then come back to it and do it from your sketch as you remember it because then you'll start adding your own things in which is kind of what I'm doing here and now I'm just going to do lots of little windows here so the big windows are for the expensive people up above <laughs> and these are for the, for the plebs down below who probably still have to pay a fortune to live in these apartments these people aren't quite millionaires I think you probably have to be a millionaire to live right on the edge of the park <laughs> So we have to do something very similar. One, two, three, five, wasn't it? One, two, one across there, one in the middle. So this is how you can sort of space them out. One on one side, one on the other, one in the middle, and then fit the others in between like that. And then that kind of is how you can space them out. And of course, if you're really, really kind of a little bit OCD, you can just take a little bit longer and get these squares much more square and angular and and don't forget also that you know you if you stop and start this video and replay it you're not going to wear it out so um you can do that as many times as you like and here i'm going to kind of have some kind of freeze let's have a bit of art up there like that and and then this is where Gonna get absolutely crazy. Right, let's do one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, something like that. Let's get this lot down here. So the top layer is gonna look a little bit odd because I changed my mind halfway through because I <laughs> it came to me how I could maybe draw a few less windows. So if we do that so we tighten these up a bit get them a bit closer so we get a 
two, three banks of three. No, they're not really joining up <laughs> on this line, are they? So, one, two, three. There. And I don't think I'm going to draw any more on that. I think we could draw something a little a bit more idiosyncratic here. Again, draw these kind of thin boxes like that. This is sort of coming down there. And this will then come down. So it's going to be sort of stepped like that. And then up above here, we're going to have something like that. And let's draw across there, and that can come down. And then this will be stepped as well, coming down to there. And we can have a little thing up there. And then what I love is those little water system things that they have on the top. <laughs> so that's going to be up there like that. And we can have some odd kind of things that are going on that maybe we got satellite dishes and things there. And we can have some little windows across the top. And what I'm going to do here is have two sets of windows like that. Another one there. Coming all the way down there. And I'm going to do the same down here. One, two, three. And we want to do that shadow thing again. Just kind of filling in the corner and the side a little bit. And that makes the, the window frame a bit deeper and pushes the glass back into the building a bit. Like that. And I think we could just fit something else in over here. Uh, I'm going to put uh, something like that. And I'm going to have <laughs> little gargoyles on the end here. Like that. And make this a bit sort of ridiculous and we'll have that coming down there and down there and we're going to have maybe another balustrade kind of thing there and that bit sticking up there we got something happening there another satellite dish oh and we got Oh yeah, I forgot we've got all the air conditioning stuff as well, haven't we, up on the top of these buildings. And then we can have another one of those little water towers, because I like drawing them. And we can just put a little cross in there. And then here I think we're just going to put sort of stripes across. And then here we're going to do these little windows. I think we'll get four in across. Mm. So we need to push that one over there a little bit. You know, if you want to get it perfect, then you get your ruler out and measure it. <laughs> We're going to draw little panes of glass in there. One, two, three. So it's three across, three down. Except in there, we're not going to fit that. Of course, if you'd measured it all out, you'd be able to fit these <laughs> little things in perfect, equal numbers. But as I was saying in the last video, this is all about style and... Um, you know, idiosyncrasy. So, you know, if it's perfect, it's perfect. If it's not, then that's style. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. All right. So I'll just do that as well. That's a funny building. And now I think I'm going to put something else just a, a little bit further away here. I'm going to put a little triangle there. A little triangle. Bring that across. And that will come down, and that will come down, and then we can put a, a kind of a spirey kind of thing on the top, and then a, a thingy thingy on the top, and then another little bit of spire on the top, and then probably a radio mast on the top there again. And I think you might get something in there. And I think you might get kind of little, kind of dormer kind of windows along there. So these are kind of like gothic kind of things. And here on the side, you're going to see them sticking out like that. 
there like that and then here we can just do lots and lots of windows like this now we want to kind of fit things in between there so what we could do is have a big rectangle like that and then coming down slightly it's slightly and then this comes down even more like that and then we can bring that down to there and we can bring these lines down and I'm just gonna break those lines a little bit so it's not so <laughs> obvious and then I'm gonna do lines across like that and here another row but that'll be going straight across and that will be going straight across and I think here we can have some lettering it's the front tower and again we can just have hundreds of these let me zoom through it <laughs> before you fall asleep and of course you know if if you want to get this absolutely perfect you can draw pencil lines across to get the top and the bottom <laughs> get them all nicely equal and there's a little ones there they're not quite fitting in it, it's up to you and <laughs> that's your style that's what that's what you're into if you're into perfection then do that because perfection is going to take you an awful lot longer and there is one trouble with perfection is that you're never going to be happy with it <laughs> and <laughs> when you want to draw something that's perfect it's never going to be perfect I'm sorry but that's true and I think that's sort of it's a lesson to learn I think when you're drawing is is not to expect it to be perfect and and it's a strange thing about perfection uh, and you know if you make mistakes when you're drawing uh, if you just keep going at the end it kind of looks okay and, and then if you put it away and you come back two weeks later you can't even see the mistakes anymore and you just think wow did I draw that <laughs> so don't worry about perfection uh, I'm gonna have something else in here so what am I gonna do I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna have that just sticking over there slightly and then this can come down there and there and then I'm going to just draw these lines in like that but that's not the whole of it because we're going to have more coming up above it um, we're going to do something like that and then that will have things like that and then we're going to have that there and we'll have some kind of a, a triangle on top and again that will be kind of like that that was easy wasn't it here i'm thinking that we might see um something like if this was london it's not london of course but uh, so i'm taking all sorts of things from various places if this was london we might see uh, saint paul's cathedral in here so let's have something like that um, and then we're going to have a dome coming up the, to the top and then that would be coming up and that's going to be sort of going down like that and we're going to have funny little things on the side with pointy bits and things like that something like that anyway then this will come down to there so it isn't actually like st paul's cathedral at all but it's kind of bits of it are based on <laughs> and it's some kind of cathedral isn't it which you're very likely to find in a, a big city and that's going to be going across there and then that might be ooh, things going on there like that and then you might have big kind of windows in underneath here um, and you might have one of these kind of weird modern buildings uh, coming <laughs> around like that and that might be, be coming down there <laughs> and so we want to bring these lines kind of down like that this is uh, another building in London called the walkie-talkie 
and when they built it it was a bit weird because it's curved and it's all covered in glass and <laughs> as soon as it was built and they put the glass on it the sun would come along and uh, it was parabolic or something and the sun would reflect in this curved surface and it would be concentrated and start kind of setting fire to the street down below uh, they didn't really think that one through so I've forgotten what they did they obviously had to coat the uh, coat the glass in something so that it wouldn't reflect so much uh, that's the, how the mighty have fallen when they come up with these amazing plans for these amazing buildings uh, so we're going to have something like that up at the top um, and there's probably oh there's usually a crane on the top as well isn't there something like that and uh, about to be you know some things just sticking out on the top and I think we could maybe in the background here I'm going to put an angle so this is going to come kind of way up there and way up there and it's going to be kind of <laughs> strange up at the top this is kind of like the shard which is again in London and this is going to basically just have lines all the way across and all the way up and down so it's just a great big kind of tall pyramid that's covered in glass really and I think we will probably need some kind of a tower as well won't we so let's have uh, let's have a circle sticking in there and then that's the body that's holding it up and then we're going to have another one coming out so this is like that big tower in Shanghai so that will be going up there and then we're going to want this thing shooting all the way up there and I'm not really sure I just had a quick little look so these are actually kind of tubes connecting the whole thing up here like that that makes it much more interesting and uh, so we can put these little curves there like that and then there's another one up there as well we need to fit in and we can probably put some more lines across here and it looks as if we've got a kind of a an X kind of thing going on there and we can do the same that way and that's nice because that makes it look a bit different doesn't it and then we can maybe have a little thing like that going across there we probably want a kind of a world trade tower kind of thing so we could put something like that so it wants to be going slightly wider at the bottom and then slightly wider <laughs> there as well and then up at the top we've got these kind of little sort of building-y things up at the top and again we've probably got uh, air conditioning units and things like that and we're going to have uh, a, a radio mast TV mast thing up at the top and that again is just going to be glass and this is sort of so much further in the distance that um, you know, it doesn't need much detail it's kind of way in the background and then I think we just need to kind of fill out the edges a little bit so we could just have a really boring um, building here and we can just do lines across so this, this is a really easy kind of skyscraper to draw and of course it's as it's all of course as you just keep drawing more and more ink on here it all starts to kind of blend together so I am going to paint this in and I'm going to do that for my patrons exclusively so if you come and join me on patreon uh, you'll be supporting this channel but you'll get so much more you get things like this you know done in color and you get help sheets and um, exclusive videos and as soon as you join you'll get uh, be able to download ebook copies of my everyone can draw book instantly like that just like that and my how to draw ancient greek stuff and i'm going to be adding to all those things so you're going to be also be helping me to uh, create new books 
new drawing books. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of thinking things like that. So you'll be able to, you'll be helping me to make new videos and new books and all sorts of stuff. And you know, you, you get this stuff. <laughs> and I wonder whether we can just fit the gherkin in there. I just kind of like that. And we're going to want these kind of levels like that. And then we need to draw curvy spirally ones as well. Like that. And curvy spirally ones coming the other way. That wasn't too difficult. And I think we could just fit another little something in over here. And we're going to do these levels like that. And we'll have the windows. And again, you know, a little thing on the top. This is where the, <laughs> where the lift gear is kept. And I think... <laughs> that is... So one of the things I want to do is kind of put this in on the fr over the top. And we can kind of move it about to get angles and things like that. So next time I'm planning on drawing a strip mall or as we would call it a kind of a shopping centre. And then after that, I'm going to put these things together and kind of explain about drawing backgrounds for illustrations. So click up here for the playlist, click down here and make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Rena Drawing channel. Ring that bell to make sure you get notifications and keep coming back for lots more videos every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.